Hi, I'm James with Curse, and welcome to a Patterns tutorial video. In this video, we will cover the basic control scheme of Patterns. The first thing that you will probably notice about Patterns is the inability to turn your head. To orient yourself and your camera directionally, hold down the right mouse button and drag. While this change to traditional control schemes may seem a bit jarring at first, the convenience of being able to select blocks without having to aim at them will make itself apparent sooner rather than later. To place a block, pyramid, or other shape, simply select it on your hotbar with either the mouse or corresponding number key, then click any space in the world. Simple. If the highlighted area appears red, this means that the block that you are trying to place does not match the shape of the block on which you are trying to place it. For instance, if I try to place this tetrahedron composed of four equilateral triangles on this cube made of four squares, then the world will explode. Anyway, where was I? Oh, that's right. I can't put a triangle on a square, so in order to place the tetrahedron, I will first need to place a pyramid made of a square bottom and three triangles. This piece will act as a sort of adapter, allowing me to place triangular shapes on flat square surfaces. But that's enough building for one day. I'm feeling destructive. In order to break blocks, simply click a block with no shape selected. Once you've hacked your way through a structure, you can pick up the remaining pattern by pressing tab. To anchor the structure, right-click it, then click and hold the move icon to move it to a desired location. Don't worry if it doesn't anchor to the desired side as you can further orientate the object by right-clicking it while it's rooted. Here you will be able to choose a side to anchor to the ground, rotate individual blocks in the pattern, as well as paint or even disconnect the pattern entirely. If you need to cover a large area with a flat layer of material, then place your one-dimensional shape on the ground and double-click to spread the material. This tool can be used to cover a large area in a significantly shorter amount of time. Remember, if you are playing in realistic mode, you will need sufficient resources to perform such actions. Resources can be gathered by destroying blocks of the desired material. Thank you for watching this Patterns tutorial video. For more Patterns content, be sure to subscribe. This has been James Duggan with Curse. Enjoy the game.